Wen Xiaoyan gets out quickly. Jalen Roberts has some work to do. Wen Xiaoyan looking for her third consecutive goal. Wen Xiaoyan has swept the T37 sprints with a world record. Zhang and Roberts both medal. We are going to have to wait to see what uh, that second and third uh, position looks like. It was so close to the naked eye, but uh, what an excellent back half of the race that uh, Jaylene ran. 13th flat for Wen Xiaoyan, a world record. She's just one 100th shy of breaking that 13th second mark. 13-16 for Jaylene Roberts. That's not just a U.S. record, that is a North American record as well. And a huge season's best for her. That's all you can ask for at these moments is to be at your best, to have your best performance when it counts, and she certainly did that today. And that confirms silver for her, 1-100 ahead of Zhang Fen Fen. So Jaylene Roberts wins her second silver medal of this game following up the long jump. Well, they really ran this exactly to her coach's plan. He said to me that he didn't want didn't want her to tense up, to relax, and to you know continue to run her race. And you can see she did that really well, made up a lot of ground in this last 20 meters. They just outleaned Zhang Fen Fen in that race for silver. Meanwhile, what more can you say about Wen Xiaoyan, who has just dominated this classification here in Tokyo? That's gold now in the 100, the 200, and the long jump. Well, I'm sure that they're going to have a great moment of celebrating with each other, and Jaylene's going to be very happy and vice versa. Both of them have such a great friendship that's blossoming, and I have a feeling we're going to see many more, much more of them in the years to come. So 22-year-old Jaylene Roberts just says someday she wants to be a teacher, picks up her second silver medal of these games, does it in the North American record time of 13-16. Wen Xiaoyan, 13 flat. Another world record to take her third gold, and Zhang Fen Fen wins the bronze. Outstanding run for Jaylene Roberts with this remarkable finish at the end, and that's silver. And after the silver medal, she's with Lewis Johnson. And a big smile on her face, as you should have. Congratulations on your second silver in the rain. What do you think about what you've accomplished? Uh, I don't know. The feeling is just like indescribable. Um, I went from early in my season, start of my season, to running. Uh, High 13s and to get down to almost 13 flat is just crazy. Um, before, before my race, before the prelim, uh, I wasn't actually too confident going in. If I'm, if I'm being honest, uh, but I think after that prelim and after I saw that time that I ran, uh, it just kind of boosted my confidence. And since it was only the morning after, I think I still kind of had that adrenaline rush. Uh, I think I executed it really well. My coach and I have been working on it um, for the past I don't even know how many years. So I finally got my strong start down and then just push all the way through. I think, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. Yeah, and speaking of pushing all the way through, you know, it was almost like two different races. How did you make that transition, maybe the last 30 meters, to run yourself into the silver medal spot? Yeah, um, I just think, I think my performance in my prelim set me up for a really good lane. Um, I love running next to the Chinese athletes. Uh, they're really fast, really, really well. So I think that kind of pushed me, and then also just um, my own technique just getting out of the block strong, staying low and into that transition phase, and then just pushing all the way through the line. I try to go five meters past the line because you see the line and psychologically, I think you tend to slow down. So my goal was to get get through that line before I slowed down. Well, that's all great coaching and you executed it perfectly. Yes. What do you have to say about just the overall experience? The silver, the long jump, and then you do this here in a season's best and a North American record as well. Everything just going great. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have done it without the strength and de determination that God has given me. Um, and I dedicated this games to my friend that passed away. Um, and I know she's so proud of me. It's, it's really emotional experience for me because I know that she's so proud of me and that she's, nobody can be in Tokyo, but she can be here um, with me and I feel her here with me. Um, so yeah, my main goal is to make her proud and I think I did that. We send our condolences on that loss Thank as well. You. And I'm sure she's proud of you as is everyone back in the United States.